Hey, what's up everybody? We're back with some more Beyond Two Souls. We're going to pick up where we left off. Let's get into it. Oof, my focus is not working. Okay. Anyway, we're going to keep going. So, hit the like, hit the subscribe. You know what to do. Let's get going. I might have to adjust this a little bit real quick. Ready? Yeah. Okay, I'm recording. I concentrate, Jody. Tell me if you feel anything in particular about any of these objects. Um. Oh, I get to choose. Um. I like this one to the left. Can you see anything, Aiden? Ryan Clayton is here to see you. He says, you know what it's about? Yes. I'll be back in a moment. Might as well keep her hydrated so she doesn't like dry out from using her powers. <clears throat> Hopefully that actually plays into something. That was a bonus. I don't know that, but Oh wait, 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 wait. Oh, dang it, I probably just missed something. Or am I just sitting around the room waiting? Am I supposed to like, oh, um... I hope we don't finish too late. I have tons of homework to do. You know, Nathan's always complaining when I get bad grades, but he's always keeping me here when I should be studying. That's a discussion you'll have to have with him, Princess. Okay, I guess he just calls her that. Um... Do you think he'll be long? Relax, Princess. He'll be back in a minute. I'm so hungry. When do we get a break? Yeah, I'm hungry too. We need to get Nathan out of here for once. Somewhere fancy. Sick cafeteria food. Uh, hasn't Nathan been... I don't know, just like, acting kind of strange lately? He's trying to raise money for the lab at the moment. Maybe he's worried about it. You know how he is. Do you know this guy who's come to see Nathan? No idea. Well, I 
missed me. Jody, could you come here, please? Why does this guy want to see me? What's what's going on, Nathan? You, you look upset. Jody, this is Ryan Clayton from the CIA. The agents. The agency wants you to join their military school program at Camp Perry. Ryan's going to take care of you from now on. You have to go with him, Jody. Today. What? I don't understand. Why me? This unit belongs to the CIA. They've been tracking your case ever since you arrived. They know what you and Aiden can do. I'm begging you, Nathan. Please don't let them take me away. Jody, I know. It's difficult, but you need to understand this is a great opportunity for you. No one can tell me what to do with my life. Listen up, Miss Holmes. I don't give a shit about your pathetic adolescent pouting, all right? You can rant and rave all you want, but you'll shut your mouth and do as you're told. Go fuck yourself. That's it. Let's go. Come here. Thanks. What are the essentials? We've got everything you need in front of us. Thank <laughs> you. 
I technically did spy on them. Dinner, okay. Oh, come on, no, 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 no. Don't, don't hit me with some shit like that. Please move, thank you. with my computer. What, what was the email about? Dinner, tonight, fancy restaurant. <laughs> anyway, it, it's too late now, so maybe another time? Shit. Oh, shit. Shit, I'm so sorry. I... You, no, why, why don't you just come over here for dinner tonight? Oh, shit. I mean, you wanted to see my apartment anyway, so... Uh, sure, but... Uh... How about around eight? Okay. Yeah, I'll bring a kick-ass bottle of wine. See you later.
Now I get why you blasted my computer. You didn't want me to see Ryan. It's not your call, Aiden. I can do what I want. Fuck this. Fuck this! We're not gonna start this again. I'm not yours, Aiden. I can have a relationship with whoever I want. This is my life. Oh, do you fucking hear me? This is my life. You know what? I happen to think Ryan is great. He's charming, he's intelligent, he's funny. And I think I'm falling for him. Yeah. Yeah, I'm aware of what happened at the bar. Fuck you for reminding me. Oh. Ryan is not like that. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. It's seven o'clock. I have an hour to make dinner, tidy up, and make myself look good. Oh, shit. Um. Trash can in the kitchen. Um. I gotta find something I can make in one hour with what's ever left in the fridge. Asian beef. Huh? I mean, that looks good. It's not too complicated. Korean chicken with oven baked vegetables. It'll take some time in the oven, but it seems doable. Pizza delivery. It's not exactly gourmet, but no preparation, no mess. I mean, it could be an option. I'm gonna go with the Asian beef. Yeah. Asian beef. I mean, it looks suitably exotic. As long as I don't manage to fuck it up. Great. Um. What am I trying? Oh, okay, it's in the counter. That's the fridge. I'm so confused. Thanks, Aiden. Please be careful. So far, so good. Okay, what's the next step? Use a walk. Was it way up there and I didn't see it? Oh, yeah.
cover. Um, one pepper. Uh, Ginger. It's supposed to be an aphrodisiac. Oh, shit. I mean, it's not in the recipe, but... Oh, really? Can't hurt. I mean, I need all the help I can get. <laughs> Funny girl. salt and we'll just I want to put it back okay all right add the sake for flavor <laughs> beginning to like cooking. Ryan, you are going to love this. Shit. Oh, crap. Crap, he's early. I can't take that off the burner. Um... Where's the door in relation to me? Where's the door? What? Oh, good one, Aiden. Okay, you got me. Now, open the door. Aiden! Aiden, come on, open up! I'm out here in the hallway with my panties on, dude. I can play too. Oh shit. You know, you're wasting your time, Aiden. You're not gonna stop me from seeing Ryan. Should I interact with these? I don't know if this is necessarily a good idea. Do I need to set the table now? Um, where's her freaking bedroom? What, wait, what is this? Oh, let me look at that, thank you. Um, no, I'm going to keep her wits about her. Oh, is this the wardrobe over here? Oh, it is. Oh! How convenient. Wow. Oh, shit. Are those clothes on the bed? Looks like it. No, 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 no. Chill out, Jody. Okay, just calm down. There's no need to panic. You're gonna be great. I didn't mean to do that. I'm trying to get her ready. Why are you doing this to me? Do I need to take a... Okay, I need to take a shower first. <laughs> And this is the controversial scene.
if you know, you know. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh, I just say, can I leave? Oh, now am I picking my outfit? She, oh, okay, she's gonna get dressed. Man, that should have given me a choice right there. Oh, what to wear. Oh. Okay. You don't need him, you have me. You just don't get it. Sorry, my autofocus went off. Um, where do I actually get dressed? There's a toilet. Looking out my window in my skibbies. How do I get dressed? Where is the, like, the wardrobe? Oh, over here. What should I wear? Oh, I get a choice. Okay, cool. Ooh, cool, sexy, or elegant. I'm gonna go... How I don't know. Man. As a guy... I want to have a little bit of class. Give her something elegant. Oh, hello, Ryan. <laughs> She's bright. Oh, do you like it? Classic, elegant, je ne sais quoi. Yeah. Classy. It's the new me, and it shows that I can adapt to any situation. Mm-hmm. Oh! You might as well just give up, Aiden. Okay? The state is going on. Period. Can I see what time it is now? No. I'm assuming it's close. Oh, great. Come on, Aiden, don't be a pain in the ass. this? Oh, I didn't see those. Uh, Books. Okay, on the bookshelf. Right here? This is a bookshelf, right? Or do I need to put them in the other way? Okay. Okay, great. Cleaned up. Um, there's no prompt for the dinner table. Oh wait, what's this? Oh, it's down here. I didn't think she had it in a little cupboard. Is that like a candle? Oh, that could go bad. Well, <laughs> too late to go back now. Probably just fucked myself. Oh, huh. Yeah, that's very funny, Aiden. You didn't like that. Wow, it's very romantic. <laughs> okay. What else do I need to do? She ain't got no shoes on. I just noticed that. So the bottle is an option always. What am I doing? Is there something I missed? What exactly did I miss? 
because these are set. Check. Oh, wait. The email? Oh, the computer's broke. Great. So, oh, these over here? just shows it under. Okay, did I miss anything that needs tidying up? Is it over here? Oh, wait. There's a sit option here. I didn't notice this before. Our dirty clothes in the basket in the bathroom. Okay. I know where I'm going. If I could remember where everything. Oh, there we go. All right, there. Okay. Still there. The message. You didn't make sure it was all gone. Did I, oh, crap! I missed one. Ah, clean it up. Oh, it's the light. Okay, that wasn't too big of a deal. Um, I hate that I don't know which way I'm facing. Thank you. I didn't behave yourself. This is important to me and I'm counting on you. Hi. <laughs> uh, Chateau Margot, 2001. Yeah, in the stores, it was a pretty good year. That's how uh, he brought doing. alcohol anyway. Okay, it's good I didn't drink already, because then she'd be more tanked if she drunk, got more drunk. Keep it around me, though. Why don't you sit? Um, I'll get the, um, the thing that opens the wine. <laughs> the thing that opens the wine. You mean the corkscrew? Oh, come on. Whole apartment. Huh? Yeah, thanks. I didn't. For fuck's sakes. Sitting. I can't see anything with this weird camera. Thank you. Do you want me to open it? No, no, I'll do it. To your new apartment. To my new apartment. <laughs> oh, so when did you move in? Um, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, the agency found it for me and all furnished and everything. Which is, it's actually the first place I've ever had. Just. I don't want her to myself. have a bad time. It's weird getting used to the idea of it. <laughs> And how about you? Where where do you live? Oh, I uh, have a place just outside of town. Not small, I just but you know, it's got a little garden. It's pretty quiet. And did you did you grow up here? Or? No, no. I, I was born in Oregon. Now my parents and brother still live there, but I, I moved out when I was sixteen. Sixteen? Oh. Did you get get kicked out or something? Uh. But things were pretty chaotic at home. My, my stepfather liked to beat me when he had too much to drink. And uh, I just decided to get out before one of us went too far. Um, how did you end up joining the CIA? 
I, uh, I went through college, not really knowing what I wanted to do. Uh, tried the army. You know, the action, travel, adventure. <laughs> long enough to realize that wasn't for me. And when a CIA agent recruiter approached me, I, I jumped at it. I should probably, you know, I'm gonna go check on the dinner because this cooking thing, it's a whole new adventure <laughs> for me. You need help? No, but why don't you go sit and more wine would be nice. <laughs> okay. I genuinely want her to have a good time. She hasn't had a good time this whole game. Uh, Asian beef, right? Yeah. No, I was sent to China for a year. I love Asian food. Oh, well, do not get your hopes up because this is probably the second time that I've cooked and I would rather not talk about the first time. Mm. Good. Good. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad you like it. So we've been working together now for what, what, two years? I mean, almost nothing about you. Well, I mean, there's nothing much to say. I grew up with my parents on the DPA campus, and then, and then Nathan looked after me. And, well, I mean, you pretty much know the rest. So. You know, your parents. Do you, uh, you still see them? No. No, I don't. I, I think they were just terrified about how different I was. So, Nathan and Cole, they, they brought me up more or less. They taught me how to cope with Aiden, how to accept myself as I am. I mean, it wasn't always easy, but I'm making progress. You know, did, did Nathan ever manage to explain to you why you have this link with Aiden? No. I mean, not really. I mean, they learned a lot of stuff about the infra world. Really not much about Aiden. I mean, I, I don't think even he knows who or what he is. It's like, is he here now, listening to us? And... Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah, he never leaves me. You? Do you have, do you have any family here? No, no. My uh, my parents are still in Oregon. Go to see them as little as possible. <laughs> um, are you um, are you married or anything? No, no. I, I, yes, I mean I, I I was. You know, my ex-wife and I have been separated for uh, two years, and uh, yeah, I couldn't work. I mean, in the end, it didn't. You know, we had our good times, but uh, eventually we decided to go our separate ways. How about you? Anyone on your radar? I've got Aiden, so... I mean, anyone in our world. You know what? Aiden kind of has always made people run away. Or, or maybe it's me. Maybe I'm just too odd for anyone to be interested in. You're special, Jody. I has got nothing to do with this. Oh, how much of this is there in this show? I'm gonna get in trouble, aren't I? Yep, I'm probably gonna get in trouble. I am probably gonna get in trouble.
Well, actually, no. If they can show Baldur's Gate. <laughs> Stop. Oh, Stop, George. What, what's the matter? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not, um, it's not your fault. There's, there's just... There's some things that I can't forget. Oh, no. It's okay. I'm sorry. I don't know if that guy's shallow because I would call him shallow because he left. Dude, if you were really gave a shit, he would have stayed and like tried to help her. Dressed nicely, told him, left him alone, didn't stay. Weird. Okay, now my night session. I don't know if that's a real cartoon. Don't DMCA me. I'm gonna be a kid and get up again. Do the do, can I plug myself into the animus? I don't know. I don't know. Let's talk to this scientist. Maybe he knows. Maybe he knows. He said I'm so tired. Can we go now? Oh, jeez. Is that what time it is? <laughs> I'm sorry, I was concentrating on my work. I know you've had a long day. Hey, this morning I bought your book. What do you say we get you tucked in and I read you? Yes, please. <laughs> I must have left it in the other room. Why don't you go in there and get it? I'll finish up here and then we can go, okay? Sure, I'm on it. <laughs> okay, oh, is she gonna have a freak out? She got scared in the garage, too. So, where did he leave that book? There's books everywhere. Stop it, Aiden. It's oh, not funny. Oh, man, come on. Man, I gotta try and make it out in time now. Great. He always does this. Oh, there it is. Found it. Aiden? Are you doing that, Aiden? The book you wanted. <laughs> ah, you found it. Now we can get down to the serious business of bedtime stories. She just shrugs it off. <sighs> oh God. Johnny, you okay? You look pain. She looks dead tired as how she looks. Come on, Nathan, let's get her off to bed. Dawkins. Oh no. What happened? Yeah. Oh. 
drive. Oh, shit. Wrong side of the road. Defoe's gonna go crazy. Okay, now I'm on another one. Jamal Sheikh Sharif, one of the most dangerous warlords in the country. He commands a heavily armed militia, using it to control several important districts in the city, which means none of our humanitarian aid is getting through. You have to find Jamal and eliminate him. He relocates twice a day. Last time we pinpointed him was at the Zanaki Hotel, which is right here. Not much of a chance he's still there, but it's as good a place as any to start booking. You'd be on your own this mission. No direct engagement with the enemy, no backup. Crap. You identify and eliminate your target, then activate your GPS beacon so we can extract you. We need to get you out before sunrise, so don't waste any time. The last American soldier that was captured here was pulled through the city behind a jeep. And they found his head, one of his legs, in a fishing pool. And recommend it. I'll be back before they even realize what's happened. Watch yourself out there, Jody. Before I go, right? Good luck, Joey. I'm Mel Gear Solving this shit. Okay. Hoorah, motherfucker.
going down. Last time we pinpointed him was at the Zanaki Hotel, which is right here. See if you find anything. First Go off, a little further. I have to do this first. Great. Now let's go.
was supposed to do that. Because even if I try to sneak there, I'm fucked. Oh, well, I'm going this way? Maybe? Okay, I definitely can't go past those four guys. That's, that's not gonna happen. Oh, shit. Shit. I had to hit my autofocus, guys. Sorry. Now what can I do here? Okay, cool. Thank you. 
sense. There's guys literally fucking 10 feet away that would have heard that. That's so illogical right there. I'm gonna point that out. I'm sorry, that doesn't make any fucking sense. They would have heard that shit. Because dude's 
watch in that direction, all right? There is no way that I'm going to be able to make it that way. Oh, but is that blocked? Oh, it is? Are you kidding me? That's where I hid. Okay, um... There's dudes down that way, right? Yeah, we're not going that way. swapping in this game. Now I'm assuming if I go that way they're going to alert people. Okay. Get off the cover. Thank you, lady. Be that close? Guess so. <laughs> that made no sense. Good glitch there, guys. That was hilarious. He's just standing there broken. Ah, oh, funny, he got stuck.
The cathedral. From where did I see it in my vision? They came here. Where did you... Oh. Like propaganda posters? for me. She walked back in here, like forcibly. That was weird. I'm gonna come. 
coming towards you. Don't don't shoot me, okay? He's lost a lot of blood. He's gonna die if I don't help him. What a savage. Did I get him? What happened? Oh. It didn't register for heck of long.
going straight through. What? Okay, I see where this is going. Okay. You could just put the dead guy on the accelerator, but... <laughs> oh, I'm gonna jump in the back. This was a cooler way to do it though. <laughs> Shit. That brings up. Oh, I thought it was a lamp.
I must go. Do you understand, Selene? La na trop coquille. You must not be at Baga or La Jamie Boki. Hasta tu mo sa hada tuki. Sorry, but you can't come with me. You're really brave, Selene. Someday, this is all gonna be over. You can just go back to being a kid. Like how did you get your hair? من أنسى فعلك هذا أبدا Oh shit. Oh my god, these QTs never make any sense. I hate it, dude. The QTEs in this game suck. You can never tell which freaking direction she's trying to go, and I don't know where. Okay. So great. Find a place Fucking camera, camera, thank you. What are you doing, camera? Stop. You know what you have to do. Find your mom. Dude, you're being a fucking cocksucker. Stop. How am I supposed to find this one guy in this whole complex? Keep low profile. So how am I supposed to kill this guy? I don't understand what I'm supposed to do to kill him. Am I supposed to possess somebody? What am I supposed to do? Oh my god, I don't know, dude. This is fucking bullshit. Oh. Okay. Oh, 
Oh shit. It's on now. How do you do it? Orders are orders. The guy's got blood on his hands. He deserves to die. Come on. I can do this. I can do it. take one of the souped up trucks and just bash that door down. Are you kidding me right now, bro? Oh, man. Oh, no.
Oh no! Oh man! This is all kinds of bad. Oh my god! <laughs> God, it's still not over. Ten years in the CIA, never seen anything like it. Boss sends his own private helicopter to get an agent back. All the top brass are crazy about you, Jody. You and I, of course. Jody, you okay? Listen, I know this one was tough. It's over. community had just announced its official recognition of the election of the new president Jamal Sheikh Sharif. Jamal Sheikh Sharif, one of the most dangerous warlords in the country. And now, sources report that he and all his government were assassinated in what appears to be an unclaimed attack. We have to find Jamal. Hopes were high that the newly recognized President Jamal Sharif would be able to put an end to the hostilities that have ravaged his country for many years. A number of world leaders have already expressed outrage at what appears to be nothing less than a cold-blooded execution. We have to find Jamal and eliminate him. You lied to me. What are you talking about? Jamal was no warlord. He was the president. He was the democratically elected president. Your point? We're not politicians. We had our orders. You knew I wouldn't have murdered him. So you lied to me. Welcome to the CIA, Jody. It's not fucking choir practice in case you haven't noticed. Now, we had a job to do, and we did it. End of story. This might just be a fucking job to you, okay? But I don't go around killing people because some poor fucking star general tells me to. What's going on? Listen, listen, just calm down. All right, we'll get back to what we'll talk about it, okay? I'm not killing you. You used me to do your dirty work. What difference does it make, Joey? You was a dead man walking with or without you. I have blood on my hands. Some kid lost his father because of me. Because I trusted you. Because I trusted you. We were doing the right thing. What am I, me, Ryan? A toy? Some fucking puppet that you can just do whatever you want with? We're getting massive turbulence. I Why? agree. I can't. I can't control it. Did you also lie to me that night in my apartment? Tony, for God's sake, you're gonna kill us. Oh 
So today, I guess. So we'll do like we usually do, and we'll see what happens, and then I'll end it there. Old friends. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna have to correct this, even though it's only gonna be for a couple minutes. There we go. On the Already sunk millions into developing a new condenser, the most powerful ever created. Of course, that was only possible once the army got involved. Did you tell anyone that I called you? No, of course not. Not even Nathan. <laughs> Wouldn't do me any good to be meeting up with a known felon, now would it? <laughs> You're working with the army? Oh, Nathan had no choice, really. It's funding on the condition of exploring possible military applications. <laughs> Go figure. What I talked to you about? Did you find out anything? <clears throat> on the day you were born, a woman named Nora Gray had a child in the DPA hospital. Her child was declared Still born. What else did you learn about her? Not much. All I know is that she took part in the DPA research program some 20 years back. She also had a gift. A father? Did you learn anything about him? His name is Jonathan Nichols. He died before birth. Heart failure. It's all I could find. Where is Nora now? She was interned in a 
psychiatric hospital. Just after she gave birth. According to her file, she should still be there now. My mother's been in a, in a mental hospital for 24 years. I mean, why? What happened? That's all the file said. I'm so sorry. I've got to go see her. Jody, I know how you feel, but she's in a mental hospital. You might not get the answers you're looking for. I'm not looking for answers. I just need to see her. I mean, don't you understand? She's my mother. If I could look her in the eye, I could find out who I truly am. Jody. She's in a high security DPA facility, and you're wanted by every law enforcement agency in the country. You won't be able to walk right in. Nothing's gonna stop me from seeing her. you go alone, did you? <sighs> Can I get to a spot? Okay, I'm going to end it here, guys, so I'll be right back in the next episode, but till then, hit like, hit subscribe, and see you later. Peace.